Okay, so the topic of today's video is going to be self-tapes. As an actor, what you're gonna have to do a lot of are these things called self-tapes, which is gonna be filming yourself. Back in the old days, before the pandemic happened, a lot of auditions would be in person. So back in like 2019, 2018, 2017, and all before, you would have 90% of your auditions be in person. This is what I experienced, a lot of my other fellow actors experienced. It was in-person auditions that you would have. And then only 10% of those auditions would be online and we would do self-tapes. Now that whole thing has changed around after the pandemic. Pretty much now, everything you're gonna have and experience is gonna be self-tape auditions, which is you put up your camera, you record yourself, doing your audition instead of having to go into the room, and then you send that off to the casting director, and then you wait to see if you hear something back. Some people love this, some people hate it. My personal opinion when it comes to self-tapes for actors is, I think it gives you all a lot more opportunities. Uh, so many more people can now audition who didn't have a chance to do this before. I know somebody who's in Detroit, Michigan right now, who's able to go and submit for auditions, even though he's not in LA. And he couldn't have done that back in 2019, 2018, because you'd have to be more local to LA to go and get an agent and then go and audition for certain roles. Now that's all changed, so there's more opportunities for people. Some people worry about the concept of, okay, if there's more people auditioning, is it that much harder for me to go and make it as an actor? And you would think yes in that logic of sense. But with that also being said is there's so many more platforms out there, more platforms are being created. There's so many platforms that are out there that I don't even know exist that are things that have a ton of different shows and a ton of different movies on them. So even though more people are auditioning, there's a lot more opportunities also available. So it also kind of balances itself out. But the great thing is, is it gives more people opportunities who never had a chance before to try at least to make it as an actor and try and audition for roles. So self-tapes are a very good thing for actors. It's just now you have to learn how to navigate this for yourself. So how do you do this? What do you need for yourself? You're gonna have to have lights to light you and you're gonna have to have a clean background. When it comes to your background, you don't wanna have a lot of things behind you because that's gonna distract the casting director's eye from looking at you. Ultimately, they wanna see you and how you act and what you do and what you look like. That's the most important thing to them. So when you have things in the background, if you have a closet behind you or a bookshelf, that's gonna distract them away from you. So just get something like this, which is a clean backdrop. You can get something that's an off-white color. You can get black, you can get blue. Some people use green. I suggest staying away from green, but blue, off-white and black are the three most common ones. I tend to think actors look a little bit better when they have black, but it just depends. You have to use your own skin tone, you have to see what you look like and what you prefer. Maybe you like off-white, so that's what you're gonna stick with. Maybe you like black, so that's what you're gonna stick with. Maybe you like blue, so that's what you're gonna stick with. Maybe you love green and you know you look great in green, okay. If you know for yourself you're that one individual, then use it, that works for you. But you have to get a clean backdrop for yourself. The next thing you're gonna have to have are lights. You wanna have good lights for yourself to light you. I'm gonna be linking afterwards so you guys can have options for yourself and what type of lights you can have, the pricing for those things, um, and also a backdrop. I just wanna tell you the information and then you can look at it afterwards or also put it up in the video here. The other thing you're gonna have to have is a camera to film you. So some people think that they have to go and get the most expensive camera in the world. Does a more expensive camera help you look a little bit better? Yes, it does. If you can afford it and you can get that for yourself, great, that's awesome. Your self tapes will look a little bit better than everybody else submitting. But what you can also use and what can also work just as good are your phones. If you put up your phone and you're lit well and your background is blank and you record yourself, that's all you need. Now you don't want to have a lot of noise or anything going on in the background. You wanna be able to have you in a quiet room doing your audition. But if you can put up your phone and you record yourself with good lighting and a blank background, that's all you need. So when it comes to the self tapes, you set that up for yourself, then you act. And then you just keep recording over and over until you like the take that you're gonna send in. Maybe you do three takes, you like your third take the best, send it in. Maybe you do 10 takes, you like your first one the best, then that's the one you're gonna send in. But now you have more options for yourself. And when it comes to self tapes, they're really easy to do. Cause all you need are those three things. You need to have your camera, you need to have your lights, you need to have your background. There is a fourth element in there, which would be a microphone. More so though, that's gonna be if you're gonna get like a DSLR camera to go and film yourself. Otherwise, usually your phone should pick you up enough, but if you find for your room it doesn't, then go ahead and get a microphone. But that would be the fourth thing. So I hope you guys like this video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with everything. Give this video a thumbs up if it helps you. 
also go ahead and leave this emoji down in the comment section below if you made it all the way through this video. And if you're interested in our 10 hour acting masterclass, our 2.0 version, that'll be down in the description down below and also in the comment section if you're interested in that. All right, see you guys later, bye-bye.